Um, Emerald, can I get just two timeline clarifications? Um, what is first? What is the John Kirby definition of a bit in terms of how long <coughs> the U.S. can continue to provide support to Ukraine under the current funding levels? Is it three weeks, four weeks? Is it a few months? Like how how long is a bit? I think, given what we have left, and given the pace at which we've been providing support, um, I, you're talking perhaps um, uh, a couple of months or so, roughly. Now, it depends, Michael. I, the reason I, I'm being squishy on this is because it depends on what's going on on the battlefield and how big the packages are and what capabilities Ukraine needs. And the, as the war has evolved, so have the packages. And so I need a little bit of breathing room on what a bit means. But, but you know, in coming yeah, weeks yeah, and a couple of months or so is roughly about right. Okay. And then, and the other thing that's important to me, I don't mean to talk too much here, but it's not just the authority that the presidential drawdown authority is not a check. It's not a checking account. It, it's, 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 it's how much authority they have to, to, to go to the inventory, to the shelves, and pull stuff off. And depending, each package costs different because the capabilities and the tools you're pulling off the shelf cost the Pentagon a different amount of money. Um, but what also has to be factored into your question about what is a bit is the replenishment authority for the Pentagon to restock those shells. And right now, the authority they have to replenish is less by a significant number of what they have authority to provide. And so in addition to the needs of the battlefield and the pace at which the drawdown is going, you also have to factor in when we talk about how long is a bit in how much authority the Pentagon has left to replenish its shells. And just the other timeline question, the, you know, the president, you and you all have, have repeatedly said and it sounds like he said again at the meeting today that the U.S. is in this for as long as it takes, right? So as the president goes back to voters to face re-election, as a president who has in the past criticized the length of some of the wars that we've been engaged in in Afghanistan and Iraq, does, is there any <coughs> responsibility for the president to be specific about, with the voters, about how long he is he thinks the united states should be willing to be involved in this should he be willing to say two years five years ten years twenty years like how long you know is does does he commit the united states to to being in this system in this situation of of what is costing tens and tens of billions of dollars on a regular basis for as long as it takes means for as long as it takes. And the president has been very, very honest about that. Um, every other leader on the call also, uh, in their own way, emphasized the, their commitment, again, for as long as it takes. Now, look, I mean, everybody, <laughs> we'd all like this war to end tomorrow. It could if Mr. Putin would do the right thing. Certainly the Ukrainians want it to end. Nobody wants to see this go on any longer. But it is their war. I, 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 I understand that we are the leading contributor of support, but the Ukrainians are the ones fighting this war. We don't have American troops on the ground. So it's a, not a fair comparison to make with Iraq or Afghanistan, where you had American boots on the ground. This is Ukraine's war. They're fighting it. We are helping them fight it. We're giving them the foreign assistance that we ourselves have benefited from in our own history. Uh, and again, we're going to work as hard as we can with might and main to, to make it possible for Ukraine to end this war as soon as they can. But it has to be done on, in terms that President Zelensky is comfortable with, the Ukrainian people can accept, and that ends up with a whole, free, prosperous Ukraine with international recognized borders. Is forever war a fair term to apply to this? I don't think so.